Welcome back to our channel. Let's take a look at the requirements of the ISO 22000 requirements and their implications for your company. Today, we'll focus on Section 4 of the standard, which is essential for understanding the context of the organization and the management system. ISO 22000 begins with references and definitions in its first three sections. However, the essential requirements start in Section 4, which is about defining the organization and the management system. This section introduces the concept of context within the food safety management system, which is crucial for its effective implementation. Understanding the organization and its context, Clause 4.1. Clause 4.1 requires a comprehensive understanding of the organization and the various internal and external factors that can impact it. This involves understanding and assessing the current status of the organization, identifying the organization's objectives, developing a strategy to achieve these objectives. We need to consider both internal and external issues that can affect the food safety management system's performance, positively or negatively. This includes understanding the organization's purpose, structure, and potential challenges. Tools such as SWOT analysis and PESCLE analysis can be particularly useful here. SWOT helps in identifying internal strengths and weaknesses, as well as external opportunities and threats, while PESCLE provides a framework for analyzing external macroenvironmental factors. Understanding the needs and expectations of interested parties, Clause 4.2. Clause 4.2 focuses on understanding the needs and expectations of interested parties, both internal and external. Interested parties are those who have a stake in the company's performance. Examples of internal interested parties include management, stakeholders, and employees. Examples of external interested parties include customers, suppliers, and the public. We must determine the relevant requirements of these interested parties concerning the food safety management system. This means reviewing and updating information about these parties and their expectations regularly. It involves maintaining documentation that identifies these parties and their needs to ensure they are monitored and reviewed effectively. Stakeholder analysis can be a valuable tool for mapping out the influence and interest of different parties, ensuring their needs are appropriately addressed. Determining the scope of the food safety management system, Clause 4.3. Clause 4.3 guides us in determining the scope of the food safety management system. This scope should consider the internal and external issues identified, the requirements of relevant interested parties, and the organization's products or services. The scope statement must clearly define the types of products, processes, services, and production sites included in the food safety management system. This clarity ensures everyone in the organization understands what the food safety management system covers. Establishing the food safety management system, Clause 4.4. Clause 4.4 requires the organization to establish, implement, maintain, and continually improve the food safety management system. This involves identifying the processes included in the food safety management system, determining the inputs and outputs of these processes and their sequence and interaction, ensuring necessary resources are provided, assigning responsibility and authority for these processes, and continuously improving these processes. This continuous improvement is not a separate activity, but a result of an effectively implemented food safety management system. The Plan Do Check Act or PDCA cycle is a useful tool here, aiding in the maintenance and improvement of the system over time. Understanding and implementing Section 4 of ISO 22000 is vital for a robust food safety management system. By thoroughly analyzing the organization's context, identifying and meeting the needs of interested parties, Defining the food safety management system's scope and establishing a system of continual improvement, a company can ensure its food safety management system is effective and resilient. Utilizing tools such as sweat analysis, pestle analysis, stakeholder analysis, and PDCA cycles can significantly enhance this process, leading to better food safety outcomes and overall organizational success. That's all for today. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.